have to I have to be honest too. You know, it's like there's some guys that will step outside of the box. And I think this is not not just true with musicians, it's true with painters, it's true with people that are the word is innovation. And to, 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 to innovate, you have to go against the mold. You know, someone is saying, no, this is the way to go. And you see a thousand people going that way. It takes a, a lot of courage, I think, to go down that lonely road, and it's just you. But you're, you believe in yourself so much, and you believe in what you're trying to do so much that you go down that road. And the funny thing about that road is either you're going to fall dead on your face, <laughs> or you're going to come up to something great. It was a time when you did an album called Time Exposure, yeah. and then I have the album, but I can't remember what it was called, but you were on a motorcycle and it was rock. I just remember rock the song Pebbles and Rocks, Pebbles, yeah. and Sand. And so that was like more of a rock album, and then you yeah. went, you, you just went through all different types of genres, like yeah. in succession, and it was like real smooth. And I want you to just talk about what that experience was like. Well, you know, I, real simple, I always did what I liked. You know, I, I really, I, I like a lot of things in life, like a lot of things musically. And, and I just think that it was more honest for me to do what I liked. You know, I remember one time in 1980, 81, um, <coughs> I went out on the road with a band called the New Barbarians, which was basically the Rolling Stones. And we did 17 concerts, and uh, you know uh, those guys had called me to come and play, and the money was being used for some charity things, and, and I personally liked that band. My sister was a big Beatles fan. I hated the Beatles, but I but I liked the Rolling Stones because they just were a little, little rougher looking, you know. So so I went. So you know it was a cool. I said, man, it'd be nice to play with those guys, and I played very simple bass lines and. And those guys gave me a 10-minute solo every every night, and it was great. And I was I was fascinated by how much uh, uh, those guys knew about me. Mick Jagger knew about all my records and, and things like that. And, and I realized that the music world of musicians is very small. Yes, there's a <coughs> there's a because of selling records and marketing and commerce, there's 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 a split, you know. These bands, that band, you know, so you, you, you think that no one knows about anything, but it's not true. You know, when you pick up an instrument or you do something in art, there's a tendency to think that I have to, you know, be the next whatever, the back of this or that, and that's not true. You know, throughout history, music was always something that was part of the family. You know, when I grew up, music was just in our house. I mean, I didn't. Believe me, I had no idea. I mean, you know, be this bass player running around the world with, with bands and all that stuff. It was just something my mother, her mother, my mother's mother, was just a part of our life and it kept the family rich. So for you parents that are out there and for you kids, you know, keep the music and art as part of your family because it'll keep it rich and sweet.